Great, so we're here at the ID Tech X show on day two with Heath Mulligan from Stretch Sense. He's going to tell us a little bit about the sort of products they're doing. Uh, this is a glove you've got here. Yeah, hi James, thanks for having us along. Yeah. This is just a demonstration of what we can do. Stretch Sense's core business is making these polymer soft sensing arrays application specific. Whatever your smart garment or product design is, we can make you a whole array that's going to sense all sorts of deformations, breathing, swelling, posture, technique, and then present that over into your electronics or over into a smartphone app sure. uh, to give feedback to your users. Great, so, how does, so tell, tell us a bit more about the sensor itself. How's it working? Absolutely, so the sensor itself is uh, a capacitive sensor. So while it looks really thin, that's actually seven layers in there. So it's a capacitor, a flat plate capacitor. When you stretch it or any deformation that changes the area and thickness, you get a very precise repeatable measurement. And it's very stable with temperature, with time. Uh, so that's why I think you might choose that against a piezo-resistive sensor. Uh, and like I said, the main thing is Rather than buying a single sensor component now, you're getting a whole array designed specifically for your product, which drives the cost down and that kind of finished quality right up. So did you find that, because I, I see on, on the booth, these, these are some examples of, of some other sensors, sort of the sort of modular individual versions. Do you find that it's the, sort of the move towards application-based systems or rather than just yeah. selling the individual kits? Is that well, something that you The feedback we on? had got from a lot of our clients, they loved the technology. They always said, look, those sensors are so precise, repeatable, it's great. The thing is, guys, they're too expensive. And the reason was, there was just too much labor involved in the manufacture of those things. So after the past year, we've doubled in size again. The team, we're 130 people now. We took on a second factory. We've put in, dumped a lot of capital expenditure into new equipment for manufacturing and volume. And that equipment, so long as your thing, it's basically full-size body garments, any size you'd like. And if it's less than 96 sensing elements, then we can produce that in one array device and produce it on the machines, which means much higher consistency, much lower cost, sure. and you can scale up the volume straight. If you do 10 and they work, great. You can get to 1,000 in a few weeks, 10,000, 100,000, or a million, and we're producing those kind of quantities now for some clients. So Fantastic. And yeah. so you showed this example in a glove here. Here on your booth, you can see something yeah. in sort of compression wear for sports. Is this exactly the main right. market you're looking at? Yeah, there's kind of three key markets, James, for stretch sense technology, for the soft yeah. sensing technology, and that is kind of sports and fitness, your technique and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, rehab, so maybe around your knees, ankles, um, and then VR and AR, so presenting your body, not just your hands, but your, your gestures and your facial expressions into the game, uh, into that VR world, whether it's for gaming or whether it's for a social VR experience. So those are the big ones we see. We see people in other areas as well, but those are the three kind of industries for us. Oh, that's great. And then I guess so, sort of the nature of these sensors in that they can sort of conform against textile or they can move into any stretchable substrates or you can make them conformal and, and yeah, sort of exactly fit right. them with any kind of design. That's one of the key uh, sort of value propositions that you yeah, have. Absolutely. And look, we've really focused on making it wearable. So that, like you said, conforming on textiles, but um, bonding them to those fabrics so that they can be made into garments and made washable. The key thing is connectorization, right, electronics. So stretch sensors core business is those arrays and the sensor driver chips that drive those capacitive sensors. But we work closely with our clients to develop their connectorization and their electronics so that they can remove their electronics if they need to for washing the garment you use their electronics device and move it between garments if that's their architecture. And that, that tends to be the architecture we see with a lot of wearables companies. So. Yeah, it's so great to see, like, so with the, with the team growing and how we sort yeah. of met, um, met like the, the founders years ago, and then seeing the every new faces join and and coming to the Early Tech Show each year. And how's the, how's the experience at the show been for you? It's brilliant, right? So we're we're five years old last week. Yeah, we've great. been to Early Tech a few times, and sometimes there's more focus on wearable technology than others. And this year you see a bit more focus on new technologies uh, that are in, in focus around EVs and batteries. But for us, uh, wearables is is that one of those waves we're riding, smart garments. <laughs> And we always love being here because you meet really interesting folks looking for technologies uh, like ours. And uh, they learn about our technology, we learn about what they're working on, and hopefully we'll get some good ongoing relationships some out of it. Some good networking, some, yeah. good, some good partners. So yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, Thanks Heath, very much, I James. Hope, hope the rest of the show goes well for you. Thanks so much. Appreciate being along. Cheers.